Welcome, 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 welcome to Mandy Voices. Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Mandy oh Voices. Oh my god! I'm Evan, also known as that Manly Eccles. That was sensuous. <laughs> back again with Cap. Yeah. And Torby. Are you sure you don't want a, a redo? I'm, nope, that we're felt, sticking with it. That felt solid. That, that, something about that just felt right. <laughs> <laughs> it, felt, <laughs> it felt solid. Probably not a good thing to feel. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Why always when someone's drinking? I'm sorry, Gabs. Like, oh, no. There's there. tissues right there if you need them. <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing to Grace earlier when she was drinking her coffee. I was doing a lot of slurping sounds. Hey, don't touch the co- pot dog. dog. The as cock was, dogs. And as I was doing it, he made a joke and I just snarfed <laughs> on camera. No. Just full on snarf. Yeah. It was pretty funny. Anyway, we're playing Danganronpa. Uh, we just finished some free time events, and I think there's something by the door. It's your mama! Oh no, what is that? <laughs> this piece of paper looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the, dining, in the hall. dining hall. The handwriting is really good, <laughs> but to want to meet up so suddenly, who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. No, it's nighttime. I would go the fuck to bed. Yeah, well. Like, I'm not getting caught up in your nonsense at the cost of, you know, my life <laughs> and the integrity of the rules that we've established. Well, the, the rules that Celeste established, like... That we all agreed upon, just saying. Yeah. Oh, it's Hero! Oh, Makoto! Hero? Then the letter I found in my room. Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting's really nice. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. <laughs> Who taught you that? <laughs> And why did you want to meet with me? Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Oh. I'm just an errand boy on this. Hero, of course you are! Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? Okay, let's do it! No, I... I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder and pulled me close and whispered in my ear. It's all an act so the mastermind won't notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. And Makoto's like, I thought someone just wanted to hang out with me. <laughs> Did Alter Ego finish his search? You got it, hero. Let's go take a dip together. I was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. Look, <laughs> his elbows are hanging off the table. You have such a strange way of laying down. When he's trying to be sneaky. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. Yeah, they, what they should have done was to be like, hey, this, uh, the nighttime rule? Like, you gotta, like, bathe or, like, yeah. wow. Like, especially because the water's not running in your bath at night. Like, well, it might just be right before nighttime. Like, not technically nighttime. Well, because that looks really suspicious if they're like, Don't bring the Let's all do that! I know, right? They think they be in so slick. Hey, you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his rich watch. Still the same old Taka. It's almost ten o'clock, you know that! Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. Little boys and girls. Shh. Shut up. <laughs> What'd you say? You want me to make you cry, little girl? Taka, he seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. Boy, you talk shit about my Taka one more time. What? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? <laughs> I love that he still doesn't swear. How rude, a maggot like you has no right to speak to our heaven-sent master. Hey, Torby, we could do without you staring at the kittens. You're not getting my pizza either, Phoenix. I know, P Phoenix be is being a schmoozer right now. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's hmm, Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. Sh shut up! Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? My messenger duty's complete. Hero, oh, bless you. You wanted the salt to meet her, right, Yoko? So what are we doing? Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, right? Yeah, totally! Did he finally find a clue? What is it? Way out, Mastermind's true identity? Where the snacks are hidden? Well, let's talk to Kyoko then. It's gone. Gone? Came here a little earlier to check up on things, and that's when I discovered Alter Ego, the laptop, has disappeared. Shit. Uh, what? You're... Kidding, right? Uh, what? She's good? You can't be fudging serious! What'd you do with them? 
Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? Hold alter or you go to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the ma oh, if it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Maybe we just missed it? I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... The solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It can only have been him. Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I would never do something like that. Aw, his moral compass is still intact. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat! That was fucking over the line. Shows what you know. This is in my true form. I still have three more transformations left. Oh my god. Uh, wait, I mean, it wasn't me! Everyone knows you're the thief! Wrong! It's you! Well, I'm sure if it was one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. No, there's no way either of them did it. Huh? Why not? I told Alter Ego to yell if either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room. What? It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. But I never heard a yell. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. Then, who was it? The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the Mastermind and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply it was someone else. Makoto, Celeste, Sakura, Hino, Toko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There's a traitor amongst us. Huh? One of us is working for the Mastermind, a spy. And that is the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be! I've actually been thinking for some time now that there might be a spy among us. It's him. The mastermind brought someone in to help, th help keep things moving smoothly. It's him. It's, it's Biakuya for sure. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No. It's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? <laughs> I mean, yes. I don't care! I don't care who, someone, anyone, save her. Aww. Please rescue her. Oh, baby. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Same here. How Same. many times do they have to kill Bro before they're happy? I'll beg, I'll scrape my head against the ground. Just please give him back. This is pretty messed up, but still, I kind of get how they feel. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. If they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. So you're saying whoever did it, did it had something else in mind for him? Something else? It doesn't matter. Nothing, nothing else matters. No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back. That's my promise as a man. Oh, baby. I swear I'll save her. Using the power of love! Ding dong, bing bong, sing song. Ping pong. Ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> it's school announcement, 10 p.m. It's night time. Blah, blah, blah. Dweet, Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. It's night time. Oh, that was. <laughs> it's night time. It is unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone get some sleep. How can you be so casual? We don't have time to wait around! What good are you if you are too tired? You will be much more effective after a good night's sleep. Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here! Me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's just me every day. It's like, this isn't the most efficient way to go about this, but we're talking about emotions! <laughs> Uh, anything, uh, 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 anything we do at night brings <laughs> <Any> programming, <laughs> calculating, <laughs> brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. Good, because I don't actually care what you think. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind's sure to notice, and we won't get anything done. Taka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but. 
It's best if just for tonight you can try to endure it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then let us part for today. We'll begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. And you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. And just don't remember, I'm stirring up drama on <laughs> purpose. Genocide Jill wasn't there, was she? Uh, sh I think Toko was. Or whatever. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us. And we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope. And then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like, just like what the mastermind is doing to us. Could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true... No, it can't be! There's no way! I didn't even realize I'd yelled out out loud. <laughs> the scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is... That shit stain over on the corner. <laughs> the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. Aw, like that wasn't predictable as F. That scares me more than anything. I thought you were talking to Phoenix going for your pizza. <laughs> You're right. That scares me more than anything. Tony. Damn it! Come here, babe. I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off Down. all those unsettling thoughts. Thank you. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Oh, look at him munching on his hot dog tongue. Munch, 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 munch. God, he's just so cute. Oh. Murder! Oh. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. That is so true. Sometimes the murders that people forgive are way more abnormal than the ones they don't. Hashtag Christopher Columbus. Wow, that was short. Torby. Bean does not want to say hi to Torby. Right. Good. Ding dong. Ding Good dong. morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. Get ready to greet another bee. Today we have to look for all three. <laughs> first things first, the, to the dining hall. Away! I found myself surprisingly in high spirits and hurried to the dining hall, but what I found, what was waiting for me there. Absolutely no one. Is oh, it? I was right. Oh, oh. no, I wasn't. Okay. <laughs> Is this it? What happened to the others? What? Aren't they? I know, right? Aren't they coming? <laughs> There were only three people in the dining hall. Sakura, Hino, and Kyoko. So including me. That makes four! Only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time with everything! Anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. Ugh. Excuse me. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. I'm putting it on auto so we can, uh... Yeah, yeah. I can eat my pizza. No matter how long but we no waited. matter how long we waited. It's usually pretty spaced out. So it's eight o'clock. We've been waiting here for a full hour. <laughs> Why haven't the others come? Hero and Celeste never missed a day till now. And what I'm really, what worried, I'm really about worried about is Hifumi and... and Taka. Oh, that's yeah. That's you, my bad. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego, and they're not here. Oh my goodness! Something must have happened. Huh? I was. Oh wait. <laughs> no one even stopped me. I was careless. I was too distracted by alter ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There was no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. That's true. Bunch of money. Ten million dollars. I prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. Whichever lucky student, right, Makoto? Uh... What do you think? It's 10 million bucks, 10 million smackaroos! It's like totally wowie wow wow wow, am I right? Don't tell me someone did something for money. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I had already And I hated pooping. that I did. <laughs> you can never really know another person completely until you walk a mile in their shat and pants. Ah! Anything can happen in here and you can't consider it strange. So don't judge me, damn it! <laughs> we need to go look for people who never showed up. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining Wait, hall. Wait, so I was just really impatient for murder and then what happened? Yeah. That's really funny. I think, I think so. We can cover more ground if we split up. Okay, how'd that go for the mystery gang, okay? <laughs> Sakura, you can go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of our rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. 
Okay, then I'll go check the third floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Okay, let's go. God, Sakura, I'm so trapped in her. Anyway. <laughs> Anxiety was written across each of our faces for we went to se our separate ways. We Without really shouldn't have split up because like Hina and Makoto are significantly less equipped to take on any potential threat than well, either Hina, of those other two. Hina is pretty fucking fit. Yeah, she's say. athletic. Like, she could outrun someone probably, but Makoto is literally F. And I'm sure with all the training she's been doing with Sakura, she's, like, picked up a couple fighting moves oh, and stuff. Would... Oh, God, I believe it. They're so perfect for each other. All right, uh, they ship it so hard. Might as well check every room, right? Yeah, I mean, if it's Taka, I'm gonna be so upset. I know. Who's Secret Beauty? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. That's super fun. There's so many cute little Easter eggs like that in this game. It'd be a fun game to take like a deep dive into. Uh huh. I guess that's why that's what makes it so replayable. Right. Oh, there's a thing there. That's the note we got from our uh, when we woke up. Whoa! Someone come here! What? That was Hina. She was supposed to be checking the third floor. There was no time to think. I was running before the stairs before I knew what was happening. Flew up the She's stairs. Like, look, I found a ladybug. <laughs> <laughs> right away, I started. I saw her standing in the hallway. Makoto. Hina, what's wrong? It's awful. I'm the ladybug. I found peed on me. The rec what? room door was open. <laughs> Can bugs pee? Ladybugs always pee. They're like, I think they musk on you when you pick them up. They pee on you like all the time. That's... Fun fact about ladybugs: <laughs> they actually hibernate during the winter. Oh. Yeah, if you ever see a bunch of ladybugs like asleep in your windowsill tracks, they're hibernating. They're not dead. That's cool. And when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? So many more ladybugs! Go ahead, go get them. Bye, Makoto. I'm gonna get the ladybugs. I'm gonna get all those ladybugs! She's rushing downstairs. The rec room, what did she see there? By this point, I was used to acting without thinking, so without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. Without thinking, I just continued pooping my pants. The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... Oh my god! It was Celeste, and she was hurt. Celeste? Who got you? My photo! Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by who? I didn't see, of course. Of course. I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. So you, Makoto. It's you. <laughs> Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And the man attacked me with the hammer on the ground there. Oh, fine. It's a hammer. Okay. <laughs> Stop what is it. This? Stop it. Some kind of wooden hammer or something? It's a pretty strange design. There's something written on the head. Justice, Justice hammer. hammer. One? That is the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. Sakura's like, I fucking told you. <laughs> you were warned, bitch. <laughs> so you were attacked with this? You now drink protein coffee every morning. Justice Hammer 1. Yeah. Makoto, Celeste. Put that hot dog in your face. I found Sakura! Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently she was attacked by some kind of strange man. A strange man? Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, it all happened earlier this morning. I woke up a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over. But I knew it was about to end, so I decided it would be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that that was a mistake. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> that is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. As there have only been the same 15 of us here this whole effing time, I thought the presence of another person was very unusual. He was obviously suspicious. <laughs> so I decided to follow him at follow after him in secret. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Bless you, Torby. As I followed, I saw him go into the rec room. I tried to get a peek through the gap in the door. Which is when he noticed me and... And that's when you were attacked. It happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. Just, just, 
just yeah, after, after night. night. <laughs> <laughs> just after night time it ended. So if it happened just after seven o'clock, then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose. To lose. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with me today? To lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. Sorry, I'm trying to get through this as much as we can. Oh, that is because I begged and groveled for my life. You did? I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots, whatever it took. So you were still willing to throw away all of your pride? It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could be a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean by a serious problem? When I looked into- uh, I'm over here now. <laughs> that was a little, yeah. little blip there. <laughs> when I looked into the rec room, I saw the suspicious man was not an alone. He had with him... He foo me! He foo me? After, after he attacked me, he dragged he foo me away. You mean he foo me was kidnapped? Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us. I can show you the strange individual. <laughs> this is Humi Fumi Fumi's <laughs> hand me down <laughs> digital camera. <laughs> She's like the dubstep remix. He Fumi 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 Boom. You don't mean you listen to dubstep, Celeste? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing. Seriously, let's see. Also, you should sit down. Your your speech is a little slurred. He hit you on the head there. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. That's it's strange, your mama. It's with that strange comment in mind. We all looked at the camera. Uh, huh? What? Well, you're definitely, definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Okay, this literally is like that one fucking Phoenix Wright trial, remember? Which one? The one where Maya gets kidnapped, and it's the, it's all about those fighting robots, and they've got the robot suits. Do you know what I'm oh, talking the, about? The samurais. Yeah. The samurai yeah. Knockoffs. They're robo samurais or something. Yeah. Is that a robot costume? I don't fucking know. As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes. So this weird robot guy dragged Hifumi away? And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there's much I don't understand, but... <laughs> <laughs> At this point, someone dressed like that dragged Hifumi away. And it happened uh. over an hour ago. This is bad. We have to hurry. So Which we also said five minutes ago, but we're still talking we're still about it. still talking about it. We could have shown this picture later. We could have just said, Hifumi's gone. We gotta go. But no. Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? No, I was unconscious. <laughs> when they left the rec room, they headed left. If that's true, they were headed towards the stairs, leading towards the second floor. Then he must be down there, right? The second floor. That's where Kyoko was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyoko here? Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. I got distracted. This is bad. If the strange man did head to the second floor, Kyoko might run into him. We have to hurry! Kyoko's in danger! As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed down to the room, out of the room, and down to the second floor. So next time on Manly Voices... We're we'll gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what's up. We're gonna find Kyoko and find Hifumi and find out what the hell's going on with this robot. Hey, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. And also comment on what other voice adventures you'd like us to do next. Until next time, bye everybody. Bye.